it's Abby Andrew and welcome back to the Renee of Paris channel today for another live stream. Today is going to be a really fun one where I'm going to get to show you lots of my favorite wigs and talk about all of them because today's video topic is just some of my favorite long wigs of all time. And I've worn wigs for a long time now. I've been wearing wigs consistently since about the age of seven. I've had alopecia since about the age of two. So I've had a lot of time to kind of like figure out what I like in wigs and like honestly if you know me you know I pretty much wear like every type of style and color and length but today's video will be focused on some of my favorite longer wigs of all time. Now somebody already asked right off the bat if I'm wearing Angelica right now which is really funny because I will show you an Angelica in a minute because Angelica is definitely one of my all-time favorite long wigs and I'm sure if you wear any of Renee of, uh, any Renee of Paris wigs I Probably can bet that Angelica is one of your favorites too, because that one's one of a really popular one. But the one I'm wearing right now is actually Shiloh from Noriko. And I'm starting off with this one. I kind of just picked one of the random ones here to start the video off with. But part of the reason that I'm starting off with this one because is because this is actually one of my first long wigs that I ever tried. So again, this is Shiloh from Noriko in the color Creamy Blonde. And growing up, if you are familiar with my story, I've had alopecia for pretty much my whole life. And when I started learning more about wigs and getting into wigs, I really stuck with the shorter styles when I was growing up and when I was younger because they can be a little bit easier to maintain. However, that doesn't mean that long wigs are harder to maintain. They sometimes just have a little bit more care involved. Whereas with a short wig, I feel like I can just throw it on, run out the door and not think twice about it, which is really good for when you're under the age of 15. So growing up as a kid, I just felt like short wigs were easier because as a kid, you don't really want to spend too much time messing with your hair. Um, with longer wigs, when I say that they might take a little more care, it's the only difference is literally you might have to like brush it out a little bit more often on occasion because just the same with long hair growing out of your own head, it's pretty much the same kind of difference. Whereas with short wigs, they pretty much just like need almost no maintenance in my opinion. Obviously they need the basic like wash every once in a while and all that, but um, yeah, same, same with like your own hair. Longer hair just takes a little bit more care. So I also, growing up, I would usually just have one wig style that I never changed from because I was too nervous to change up wigs when I was younger because I was really self-conscious about wearing wigs and having alopecia. So it wasn't until I was a bit older that I decided to experiment with longer wigs and now I absolutely love long wigs. And I love short wigs too. So if you know me, I change up wigs all the time. Um, but again, this was the first long wig that I ever tried. And part of the reason for that is because if you're familiar with the style Cody, the Cody wig from Amore is the wig style that I wore every single day of my life growing up until the age of like 18 or so. And the reason I chose Shiloh to experiment with was because I thought it could pass off as Cody with extensions, um, just in my high school mind, because if I got too nervous to talk about switching wigs, I would just kind of be like, oh, this is extensions and try to just play it off like that. If you are someone who wears wigs and you've experienced being self-conscious about it, then you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so I have loved this wig for so long uh, and it just makes me feel so like glamorous and cute. <laughs> and also if I had hair of my own, um, it would be blonde. So creamy blonde, that's part of the reason why I like this color a lot as well. Because I kind of imagine that if I, if I had my own hair, it might look something like this. There's a picture that I have of myself with my mom where we're standing side by side and I'm wearing this wig. And I feel like it looks so much like her hair. So I feel like it's exactly what my hair would have looked like if I had my own hair. So this is absolutely one of my favorites. So it's from the Noriko collection, but it has the double monofilament wig cap, similar to the wigs from the Amore collection. And then it also has a tiny bit of volume in the back with the permatease, but it's very, very slight. So it has a really nice balance between that double monofilament and then really natural looking wig cap. And then just a tiny little bit of volume just to keep it looking really, really nice. So I will show you the cap construction as well. And something I want to mention about this wig is we all know, like if you're familiar with lace front wigs, lace front wigs are a really, really great option to have that natural looking hairline. And some of the wigs that I'm going to show in this live stream will have lace front so I can show you a comparison. But this wig actually does not have lace front and I feel like it does not need it at all because it's not the kind of style that you would pull back. So you wouldn't really need to be showing um, the hairline. So again, it has uh, actually uh, not the double monofilament, it has a single monofilament. The only difference between double and single monofilament is that the double monofilament adds an extra added layer of comfort if you have a really sensitive scalp, which is why the Amore collection is really, really nice for that. Just if you're ever wondering what the difference between single and double is, they both look equally realistic on the scalp. 
and then double just gives you that extra added layer of comfort if you do have a sensitive scalp. For me, I don't really notice a huge difference in terms of that because I just I don't I'm, I don't have like a super sensitive scalp. And then you can see that pretty basic um, wig cap, and then the adjustable straps in the nape of the neck. But let me show you what it looks like on because the way the bangs fall, it has a side bang, not a straight bang. But the way it falls, the hairline is pretty much always covered, so you don't really need the lace front. Lace front in particular is good if you like to have the kind of hairstyle that lets you like really pull it back to have that natural looking hairline. And I'm gonna show you that on some of the lace front wigs that I do have, but this style doesn't really call for that kind of uh, like hairstyling, so it is not necessarily a requirement. This is a wig I also love to put in a side braid. <clears throat> I will show you what that looks like now, but for a long time, um, I, I think, I forget if I already mentioned this, but this is actually the wig that I'm wearing in my high school graduation photos. So that's a fun fact as well. I like I have to share a bunch of these photos on my Instagram after this, just so you can see. But again, this wig has been one of my all time favorites for a very long time. But that same wig that I had, that my first child that I ever wore, even as it got older and probably came time for it to need to be replaced, I always wanted to keep it, but once the hair Got to a point where it wasn't really in the best condition i would just always keep it in this side braid style and i think it just looks so cute on this wig so i would just wear it like that constantly and i just think that looks so cute just like that and if i had a hair tie i would put it i don't have one um, near me right now but i really love that style on this wig so again this is shiloh from noriko in the color creamy blonde and again, if you're just joining, this is going to be a collection of all of my favorite longer wigs. So now I'm just going to go into uh, the next one. I'm not really going to go in any particular order here, but someone did mention Angelica before because they thought that my Shiloh was Angelica, so I will go ahead and show that now. And I'm also going to try to point out the differences if I can. I would say one main difference is that Angelica is a little bit more voluminous, so just that extra glam look. And the color that I'm going to show is one of the limited edition colors of Angelica which is this gorgeous red copper color. Let's see. Yeah, so red copper. I absolutely love this color. It is so fun and bright. Now again, this is one of the limited edition colors, but I think it might still be available. If you're having trouble finding any of the limited edition colors that you're interested in, you can always contact your wig seller and ask them if they can supply it and they might be able to special order it for you. But Angelica comes in lots and lots of colors. I actually have quite a few Angelicas in my collection of different colors because it is one of my favorites. But here, so you can see compared to Shiloh, this one is a little bit more voluminous, a little bit longer, and it just really has that ultra glam look. And I absolutely love this wig. It is so nice. It actually comes, it's from the Noriko collection. It comes in standard cap as well as partial monofilament and partial monofilament just means that you have the mono on one side and then the standard cap on the other so you can have that really natural looking part on one side and then that really glamorous voluminous look on the other so yes yeah, so definitely one of my all-time favorites i think like i was saying before i think this is a style that would look good on absolutely everyone i think that anyone who has a medium to large wig collection probably already is familiar with this wig because it's a really popular one but i highly recommend this one if you love long glamorous hair i always feel like a movie star wearing this and it is just so lovely i wish i had some of the other colors that i have of angelica to show as well but it's definitely a gorgeous one now next i'm actually going to get into uh, one of our newer releases that came out a few months ago, and this is one that was very popular when it was released. This is from the Renee of Paris collection, and this is the wig Sage in Moonstone. Absolutely love this wig. This one's kind of more on like the medium length side. It's definitely, it's definitely long. Well, you could decide for yourself, but it's definitely a little bit shorter than Angelica, but still a really gorgeous, gorgeous length. This one has a lace front, lace part with the part in the middle. And this color is so gorgeous as well. If you're not familiar with our wig, wig catalogs and wig collections, 
Um, all of these wigs come in lots of different colors. So if you don't particularly, if you like the wig style, but you don't want it in that particular color, it is available in a wide range of colors. So if you want to see the other options that each of these wigs is available in, you can just go to reneeofparis.com and use the wig, um, wig style selector on the top and you can kind of search for wigs and then check out the different color options they are available in. But yes, this is another one of my favorites. Just so gorgeous. It kind of has that like curtain bang thing going on. Absolute favorite. So yes, this is one, uh, like I was talking about before, some wigs, some wig styles are nice to have a lace front with and some don't really look really need it necessarily. So with Shiloh, that's not really a style that I would personally pull back. So you don't really need the lace front, so the bangs cover the hairline anyway. And then for this wig, you have that really natural looking lace front, so it looks like it's growing out of your own head. So if you do want to do hairstyling that kind of pulls the hair back, it still looks really, really natural. I just think that this is such a flattering cut, the way it falls. Okay, let's see what else I have here. Now the next wig I'm going to show in two different colors, but this is another one of the new releases that came out from Renee of Paris recently. Um, also, this is probably one of my all time favorite wigs now. I would love to have this wig in every color, so I will be able to show it in two different colors here. Uh, but this color is also a newer color called Milky Opal R. Now mind you, these are, this is, this video is some of my favorite long wigs of all time. So some of these are a little bit more um, worn. This one's still in great condition, but I have been wearing it a ton, so just so you know. But it also goes to show how well these wigs keep up, because I've worn this wig many, many times, and it's still in really great shape. If you ever are caring for a curly or wavy wig, one product that I really recommend to have in your collection as part of curly or wavy wig care, this product is great for all wig care, but particularly for wavy and curly wigs, the Revive Liquid Enhancement. It's just really helpful for after you wash it, just kind of helping to get those curls back to where they were. Now again, with synthetic wigs, one of the best parts of synthetic wigs is that they hold their style. So after you wash it, and if you just let it hang dry, they will it will automatically return to the curly style. So you don't have to worry about really maintaining the curls, but it is nice if you happen to brush it out and you feel like it just kind of separated the curls a bit more. It just helps to really, really revive that. Thus the name Revive Liquid Enhancement. So highly recommend that. And again, this is a wig style that I've been wearing a ton and it's still in really great shape and it's just absolutely gorgeous. But I actually have a second one. Um, and the reason I'm showing both in this video is I just wanted to show you, I went to an event with a friend recently and she's really good at hairstyling. And I actually really would love to get a video of her doing this hairstyle that she teach you all how to do it because I don't know how to do this myself and it just looks so cute. I could not take myself to take it out of the style that she put it in. She actually put two little space buns in this exact wig. So I just wanted to show you how that looks as well. She just did such a good job doing it. I've done space buns, but hers just came out so good. I just couldn't take them out of the wig just yet. But I just wanted to show you how this looked because I just think it looks so cute. So again, same wig. This is um, Ren uh, in the color Watermelon R. And these cute little space buns. I just wanted to, show you, wanted to show you how that looked. So this is how they looked after going to the event. So they're kind of falling out just a little bit. But just to show you one of the many ways that you can style your longer wigs. That's a really fun part about long wigs is that you can really do a lot more in terms of adding braids, adding pigtails, ponytails. Whereas shorter wigs are so easy and manageable, and I love wearing wigs, uh, shorter wigs on a day-to-day -day basis, but longer wigs, you just have a lot of kind of styling flexibility. So this is just one of many things that you can do. So again, I, I didn't have the heart to take these out yet because they just looked so cute. I just, want, I just wanted to show you how they looked on this wig as well. Definitely leave comments below if you want to get a video of my friend doing this for me because I would love to show her that and be like, hey, you gotta, you gotta record a video with me now because this just came out so nice. Okay, I just have like a little pile of wigs over here now of all the ones I'm showing in this video, but let me just move on to the next one. Okay, this next one is Nolan from Renee of Paris and this color is peach gold. Yes, peach gold. And this one is 
lace part, lace friends. That's what it looks like on the inside. So again, it just has the lace on one side of the part. And this is a really nice kind of medium length wig and it's a very pin straight wig. So it's really nice if you like that super straight hair. It kind of looks like just really, really nice, perfectly flat ironed hair. And again, if you've ever had the experience of trying to straighten your own human hair and you just couldn't get it to maintain that beautiful like pin straight look if that's what you're going for, it's really nice to have a wig like this that just naturally keeps that style with zero effort. <laughs> And it's really nice to be able to, if you want curly hair one day, just switch it out for the curly wig. If you want pin straight hair the next day, just switch it out for the straight wig and just have zero maintenance involved. And again, if you wash it and let it dry, it will automatically dry back to that style that it came in for synthetic wigs. That's one of the reasons that I personally just love to wear synthetic wigs. That's pretty much my go-to. Human hair wigs, of course, have a lot of benefits as well, and like it just really depends on what you're looking for. But that's something I absolutely love about synthetic wigs, is that they always will hold their style, so they're just very, very low effort. And they still, of course, look just as natural as human hair wigs. And again, this does have that lace front, lace part. So as you can see, it just melts so seamlessly into your scalp, into the hairline. So if you want to kind of pull back the style, it just looks very, very natural. And again, this is a wig, by the way, that I have worn a ton and it still is in really great shape. So just wanted to mention that as well. Okay. Now I actually have, I have two more wigs to show, but one I actually just washed. Um, so it's kind of still drying. So I'm going to decide if I want to show it uh, to see how dry it got. This next wig is also a wig that is a part of the regular Renee of Paris collection, however this color is a limited edition color, but it's just such a nice style, I didn't want to not show it, and I highly, highly recommend this one. So this is actually Riley from Renee of Paris, and again, this is a limited edition color that I don't believe is available anymore, but there are just so many gorgeous colors within uh, that are available in this wig, and it is just one of my favorite, like, super long, curly wigs. It is just so pretty. And that also has that lace front, lace part. Again, I think this is just such a flattering style as well. I just think these curls are so glamorous and beautiful and just it saves you the hassle from having to sit and curl your hair every day and have to use a lot of hairspray to hold the hold the curls. It'll just automatically stay looking really nice. It's not going to get frizzy. So that's just the beauty of having synthetic wigs. Now I will check on that wig that I just washed. It is kind of drying. The only reason I didn't want to skip showing it in this video is because it is one of my favorite long wigs of all time. So I didn't want to skip it necessarily. But let's see how it looked. Okay, so again, it was just washed recently, so it is drying, so just take note of that, but this next wig is Shiloh from the Amour collection, and I really wanted to show this because it's also one of my first long wigs that I ever tried. It's just a really gorgeous, long, straight wig with bangs, and it's just a really easy style. And because it's from the Amour collection, it has all those features that are really nice to have for if you do experience hair loss. So it has the double monofilament wig cap, which gives you that really realistic looking hairline. No matter how you change the part, it just looks very natural on top. And that also gives you really good styling flexibility. So if you want to change the part to the other side, you can do that. You just have to like brush the hair to the other side and it will still look really natural on top. And because it has the bangs as well, it also just has that really natural looking hairline no matter what, because it's going to be covered anyway. So this is kind of one of my Favorite longer wigs for just minimal effort because again, it's just so easy to maintain. This is a wig that I also love the look of in long braids. I'm not going to do it right now because it is still drying. Um, but just putting this wig in long braids in the front is a really cute style as well. I will show you the cap construction as well. 
because like I was saying before, the Amore collection is really great for if you're experiencing hair loss because it has a lot of features that A, make it look very, very natural and realistic just because of the double monofilament wig cap and things like that. But then it also has features that are just designed to be extra comfortable on a bald head and feel extra secure. So here's the difference between the double monofilament and the single monofilament that I showed before is that it just has one more layer of that really soft fabric. So it's just really smooth if you're wearing it on your bald head. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that the other wigs will be uncomfortable on a bald head because I wear all of these wigs with no wig cap and I never think anything of it. It always feels very comfortable. However, if you are someone that has a particularly sensitive scalp, this is a really good option. And I wanna also draw attention to this part here. This is something that I always forget to mention when I'm pointing out the wig caps, but this is a silicone strip here. And it's really good for kind of helping the wig cap grip your head as well. So it really just adds that extra security. It's not like it's so grippy that it's going to like pull your own hair if you do have hair of your own, but it's just enough that if it's on your bare scalp, it'll just kind of give that extra security. And then again, the adjustable straps at the nape of the neck. Now I'm just gonna do a quick recap of some of the wigs that I showed. Again, this one was Stevie from Amore. I'm really glad this one dried enough in time to show for the video because I just think it's one of my favorite long wigs of all time. And I think it's one of like the lowest effort long wigs as well because of the straight hair, because of the bangs. It's just very, very minimal effort. And then again, I showed Riley before, which is a really, really gorgeous long style. Nolan here is also a really great medium length straight wig and this one I think is also a very very minimal effort wig as well. And again these wigs all come in other colors as well. This wig in particular I would love to add to my collection in a brunette color. I think that would just look so pretty but I absolutely love it in this peach gold color as well. Okay, and then we have Ren. So Ren is really great for the wavy wig with bangs. Another wig that I would absolutely love to have in um, multiple different colors, but just so gorgeous. Whenever I pull these wigs out um, for a live stream, I always end up just wanting to start wearing that wig daily again. When I first got this wig, I wore it so often. It is just so gorgeous. Whenever I have a special occasion, like a holiday coming up or my birthday, I always have a wig that I want to be like my birthday hair for that year, for example, and Ren in um, the other color, the watermelon R color. This actually was my, my birthday hair this year, so it was super gorgeous. And again, this color is Milky Opal R, which is a newer color as well. And then we also have Sage in Moonstone from the Renee of Paris collection. This one is just so glam and so gorgeous. It just makes me feel like a movie star. I said that about Angelica too. Just certain ones just make me feel so over the top glamorous and I absolutely love it. But still like in a realistic way, if you know what I mean, like it still looks like you could have maybe achieved this at home and it doesn't, it doesn't like look like it's too over the top, but it's just so gorgeous and no effort as well. Like if someone saw you out in public with hair this gorgeous, they'd be like, wow, she must spend hours doing her hair. But no, you just throw it on, go out the door and you're ready to go. <laughs> and you have gorgeous movie star hair. <laughs> I love this one. There's just so many cute ways you can style it as well. Like this one I feel like would just look so pretty kind of in a half ponytail. Again, like I was saying before, with long wigs, you have so much flexibility because you have more hair to style. But that, that just looks so cute like that. Isn't that just so adorable? <laughs> I love that style. <laughs> okay. And the last two wigs that I showed earlier were Shiloh from 
Noriko and Creamy Blonde. Um, someone said, what is that one? That one I was just wearing was Sage from the Renee of Paris collection in the color Moonstone. Love this style. Sorry, my little baby hairs are kind of sticking up all over the place. <laughs> uh, and then again, I showed Angelica. I'm going to have to make a post on my Instagram. My Instagram is abbyandrew.yt. But after this video, this is inspiring me to compile a bunch of photos of all these wigs so you guys can see um, the comparisons. But I have Angelica in a bunch of different colors. This one just happens to be the one that I pulled out for this video. But it's just such a gorgeous, glamorous style. Just like Sage, this one kind of makes me just feel like movie star done up. But again, like kind of in a natural, realistic looking way. It is just so gorgeous. <laughs> I love this. Just the way these bangs fall, that's just like this little side bang with this like little curled little wisp here it just feels so cute i love that with the layers the layers in this wig are just really gorgeous we're gonna see some of the different lengths here i think after i finish this live stream i'm gonna post a couple of um my other angelica colors on my own instagram and we've come full circle to the wig that i started the video with which again is shiloh from noriko and like I was saying before, this is the wig that I was the first long wig that I started experimenting with because I had always worn short wigs my whole life. And it is the wig in my graduation photo. Um, I'm trying to think what other what other milestones I had in this wig. But I think the graduation photo one is really funny. I can post that on my Instagram as well. But let's just have my little like cap and gown photo from high school wearing this exact wig. Not this exact one, um, because if you're not familiar with synthetic wigs, they do have um, a lifespan. And that wig I wore so much. It is actually so funny. I do have it somewhere in my house because I, I couldn't let go of it. <laughs> but this is a newer version, um, just like a, another one that I eventually brought into my collection. So this one is probably only a, um, a few months old, but I haven't been wearing it daily, uh, if that makes sense. Just one of the ones in my collection. I just really, really love this wig. It is just so cute. Because it's like, it's um, it's not as pin straight as Nolan, but it's not as wavy as maybe Angelica, for example. It just kind of has like a little bit of movement to it in a really natural, gorgeous kind of way. Okay, so that is all the long wigs that I'm going to show in this video. There are so many more styles that I could give special mentions to that I didn't mention in this video, like um, Lennox from Renee of Paris is one of my all-time favorites. That one is just so gorgeous. It has a really beautiful lace front, lace part, and just a really, really nice length. And just all of these I absolutely love. So I feel like I'm inspired to now dig through my photos and post um, something on my own Instagram just of all my long favorite long wigs. But if you ever want to learn more about any of these wigs that I mentioned, you can definitely visit our website, reneeofparis.com. Search any of these. You can look through the catalogs, look through the website, and see what other colors these are available in. If you ever want to find a wig from one of our brands that has a couple of specific features, like let's say you want the monofilament, you want long, you want straight hair, you want like a specific color, you can actually go into our wig search um, category, like, like style finder basically, and you can input all of those features and find the list of wigs that have all those features so you can kind of help to narrow down your options because there are so many gorgeous styles available out there. So you're bound to be able to find something that you are looking for, which is great. So thank you so much for watching this video. If any other questions come up, if you have questions about any of these specific styles that I mentioned, you can comment them below. If you ever want to go back and rewatch any of our live streams, you can go to our IGTV on the Renee of Paris Instagram and rewatch them there. And then any questions that come up, you can either comment them on that video. You can always DM us if you don't feel comfortable commenting on them. And if you ever have questions about wigs or alopecia or hair loss, you can always DM me personally as well, abbyandrew.yt here on Instagram. And I'm, I'm always happy to answer people's questions to the best of my ability. Um, someone just commented that was really helpful. I'm losing my hair in the next month due to chemo and think I'm just going to stick to wigs. They're so gorgeous. Yes. So um, <laughs> if you're new to the wig journey, we are so um, happy to help answer any of your questions. And I'm really glad that this, qu this video was helpful to you as well. And again, if you have any specific questions about wigs, pl please do feel free to DM me on my Instagram. Um, just message me on my Instagram, abbyandrew.yt. 
and I'd be more than happy to help you find the wig that's perfect for you. <laughs> and yeah, uh, so thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I'm sure I'll be going live again very, very soon. And stay tuned for more posts about gorgeous wigs on our page. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all very, very soon.